I can't watch. I can't watch. I can't watch, dude. Hey, look, you're on the Jumbotron. Oh, go team. Here we go. I have faith. All right. It's the 2023 EuroLeague Basketball Championship. There's 10 seconds left, 9 seconds left, 8 seconds left, 7 seconds left, 6 seconds left, 5 seconds left. Real Madrid puts up a shot. Boom. They take the lead with 3 seconds. Calm down. Coach says, calm down. They inbound it. They drew up the play. It's up. They miss. Real Madrid wins. They shouldn't have calmed down. I was wrong. Oh, my God. This guy can't believe it. He's in tears. She can't believe it. She's in tears. And this guy can't believe it at all. And he's not in tears, but his eyes are doing some stuff. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. It's brought to you by John Boy Media today. How about that? Let's go to college lacrosse. The semifinals, both semifinals games went into overtime. Notre Dame was losing by one. That guy posts up, spin move, backhand shot. That ties it. It's a nice play. Sends it into overtime in OT. Notre Dame coach calls timeout, says, let's drop a play. I think we got some ideas. What you're going to do is you're going to start with the ball, okay? You're going to whip around up top. They're going to create a lane for you, and then you're just going to score. Sound good? One, two, three, let's win. And that's kind of what happens. Number 12 has the ball, right? He's running around. Now, see in the bottom of your screen, the bottom of your screen, Virginia defender and number eight. As soon as number 12, he's going to pull his stick up right here like he's going to pass it to number eight. Now, watch number 29. Bottom, bottom right of your screen, Virginia's head. He's watching the ball, eye on the ball. As soon as he turns to eight, because he thinks the pass is coming, 12 pockets it, bursts through the seam, scores the game winner for Notre Dame. Did you see that 50? Look at this stick throw. So high. So high. Coach, he's, he's excited. Hugs his other coach, says, great play. Says, no, it was a great play by you. No, you did it. No, you taught me that three years ago, remember? Oh, good high five in the stands here. Shirtless kid, bam, solid high five, big screen. Terrible high five here. Oh, just terrible. Number seven, look at this. And, and what's up with the other guy? He's kind of backing away on him because he goes for a self-clap. Like, you can't set up the high five and then just leave that guy hanging like that. That's not good. This girl. Let's fucking go. And then number 50, the stick thrower. He comes from a big lacrosse family. His brother, like MVP of this league, they're really good. He's in the crowd with his family, hugging. So they were going to play the winner of Duke Penn State. The other semifinal game also went to overtime. And this kid is going to post up again, spin inside, come for the goal. Now, all of the players on Penn State are like, he was in the crease. Are you guys going to call that? He was in the crease right away. That's their immediate reaction. Look what happens between the two refs. I don't like it at all. The one ref who had a good view, he's blowing his whistle, and we don't know what his call is going to be yet. The other ref just runs in, says, I got it. It's a goal. And they go, okay, goal, I guess. I got to play along. And then look at this. He runs in, and he just says, don't botch this. That's a goal. And they go, okay, I guess goal is what you're saying. Uh, uh, don't call anything else. That's a goal. Let's get out of here. My daughter's graduating. I got to go. That's a goal. Okay. All right. Goal. But uh, I had the view. So Duke won it. That's not a reviewable play. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to review that play. They have cameras and it's something you can just see. And yeah, dude's foot was on the line, which means he's in the crease, which means it should not have counted at all. And the weird thing is the ref was about to blow it. This ref, watch, when he steps near the crease, look at the ref. His hand goes towards his mouth. His other hand's coming up to make a call, but then he sees the goal goes in. He's like, never mind. Never mind. So you guys missed that. You didn't watch it. Notre Dame went on to beat Duke in the championship. These were the semifinal matches. Notre Dame wins the championship. Next up is the Super Rugby Pacific League. Look at the score. It's 47 to 41. Moana Pacifico is losing. But they're mounting a comeback. It was way worse before. They're going to throw the ball in, grab it. And now the dude, number 16, who threw the ball in, he's actually going to run to the back of the pile. Look at that. I like that right there. He locks on to his teammate, says, I'm here, dude. Get me the ball. And then they pass the ball all the way back to him. Now he's got the ball in his hands, and all they got to do is bum rush the whole pile. And do those, does the other team not know who has the ball? Is that part of the trick? He's in. He's in. He's in. That makes it a closer game. Makes it 47 now 
to 46. All they got to do is make the conversion and they win the match. And it's just joyous times in Moana Pacifico. I like their uniforms. He's smiling. Okay, make the kick, dude. Let's do it. Only issue is the guy taking the kick shanks it to the left and they don't win. And the other team wins in this Super Rugby Pacific match. Fijian Drua? How do you say it? These guys are all happy. You guys missed that. <laughs> you didn't even know that happened. A lot of you probably know that this happened, though. The championship match of the Champions League winner gets promoted to the Premier League. You got Coventry versus Luton Town, and it goes to PKs. They make the first one. They're like, come on, let's do it. We're going up. We're going up. But then Coventry makes theirs. 1-1. One, one. And then the rest of the way, they make the kick. Come on. Come on. And then they make the kick. And then they make the kick. Now, this team, Luton Town, is like a tiny town. They haven't been in the Premier League since 1992. There's so much on the line. They've just been climbing up and up and up and up. Everyone keeps making their kicks three and three. Come on. They were sold in 2003 for $7. They've declared bankruptcy a, a ton of times. They were like down in the fifth division. This guy can't watch. Can't watch. Nice eyes, though. Can't watch. In. Oh, my God. Four to four. What's going to happen? Make the save. Make the save. Oh, five to four. He's got to make this. He makes it. So we just keep going. But yeah, this orange team, this Luton Town team, that's cheeky. That was a cheeky one. Okay, here we go. Are we going to keep going? You're getting down and down. This is the sixth guy to take it for Coventry. Someone's, oh, now they can't watch. Now the people that are upset and can't watch, it's changed hands. Oh, and that's why. Up top, amazing story. Go watch on YouTube. There's documentaries. There's other videos about this. Go watch the full story of this town and this team and the descent they took and then the climb they've been on because it'll give you chills. It is awesome. Awesome. And that was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. It was brought to you by John Boy Media because we got a lot going on here. We got a lot of YouTube channels. We got a lot of action. We got live events coming up. The Warehouse Games is going off. We got Talking Giants football. We got Pinstripe. There's just a lot, right? JM football, JM baseball. So go check out the plethora of content that John Boy Media offers. But let's move on to Fan of the Week. Good options for Fan of the Week this week. Really good options. Like I have a clear, I have a clear, I have a clear winner, but I don't know if it's going to be the same clear winner that you guys choose. And ultimately, you guys get to choose. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you.